Wait a little bit. Stop. You want to learn how to do this? That and that? I got you, homie. I'm gonna go through all three teleports in order of their discovery, which means basic your rope draft, advanced your rope draft, and the flying Dutchman. So, basic your rope draft. How do you do it? Very easy. The only requirements it has is that you need to have a stationary clone and you need to look in the middle of the box as you are jumping. Next on the line, the advanced Euro draft. Have you ever thought you can place the TP on certain locations, but you can't seem to jump high enough to place it? Yes, you are actually right. You can place the TPs on these locations. The basic supplies for the normal updraft, with the only difference that you simply have to look up. Not that high up. There you go. If you don't see the blue part of the teleport, you can either look further up or down, depending on where you're looking, or try to jump until it appears. If not, it's not possible. This can be only done on boxes or crates that are slightly lower than a full 2.5 meters. Now for the hardest TP tech that you're all been waiting for, the Flying Dutchman. The requirements that this TP has is that you have to place a clone on an angle on top of an elevated position. Secondly, you need to be at least 2 jumps away from a box where the clone is falling. And thirdly, you have to jump right as the clone is in mid-air and when you hit the clone's collision, you will have a short time frame to place the teleport. Now, this sounds complicated, but not worried. I have a simple lineup that will fix all of your issues. You're going to line up your end of the hut with either side of the box. After that, you're going to jump and right click the clone at the peak of your jump. And lastly, you're going to tuck in the corner of the box, tap A or D depending where you're placing the clone, with space at the same time. Don't hold them, just tap. Which means, if you go left, you're gonna tap A and space at the same time twice. And if you go to the right, you're going to tap D and space twice. It will get to the perfect position instantly. After that, you're going to look at your clone, activate it, and right as it's falling, when you see it touching you, you are going to place your TP on the boxes. The tricky part here is that you have to learn when you're in collision with the clone. That means you don't have to jump and instantly place your teleport. The only thing that this teleport has in the requirement of the clone is that you have to be in its collision when it's mid-air. So you don't place the teleport when you try to instantly jump, but you try to place the teleport when the clone is in collision with you. At first it will seem a bit hard, but if you do it enough times you get the hang of it. It will take you around 20-30 minutes to learn it, and if you want to get consistent with it, uh, you just have to train it. Subscribe so you can see me take a shower.